today. It is a party today. Hooray. We are happy to see you and happy to have you with us. This is a fantastic MyS webinar, levels four to five. We will talk about describing personality, but first, let us describe ourselves. Do you like The Simpsons? I, 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 yeah. I mean, who doesn't like The Simpsons? It's very, it's just what it is, you know? So you don't love The Simpsons, though? I don't love it, no, but I don't not like it. It's The Simpsons. It's just what it is. I really like The Simpsons. They make me laugh and I think they're funny and cute. Let's leave it freeze frame right here so we can watch them as we are speaking. So, um, so let's describe ourselves before we describe anyone else. Yes. So. Can you describe yourself or say, well, whoever is joining us, welcome. We want to know three things from you. Number one, are you a brunette? Number two, what is your favorite hair color? Remember hair color is your hair color. And number three, do you like jazz? That's right, four letters, J-A-Z-Z, -Z, that's jazz. My friend is part of a face group, Facebook group, my friend Joelle, the drummer, that's called people who use the J in jazz as a saxophone in a word. It's an entire Facebook group that just finds very cheesy graphics and shares them with one another. I am not in that group, but I do think it's very funny. That's a cool group. Yeah, because the J is formed just like a saxophone, like a tenor saxophone which is my favorite saxophone. Do you have a favorite saxophone? I don't, but I'm not a sa I don't know anything about saxophones, but when I see someone playing the saxophone, I am all about it. Yeah, well, for example, there are four main categories of saxophones. There's the soprano sax, which is thin and straight. Then there's the alto saxophone, then the tenor saxophone, and then the largest is the berry or baritone saxophone, right? Um, the, the, and what changes is the tonality, the tone of it, right? So the soprano sax has a very high tone, very high pitched. And the berry sax has a very low sound. And I love low pitched sounds. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the um, the tenor sax. For example, Sonny Rollins. Do you know Sonny Rollins? No. Plays the tenor sax. Yeah, Sonny Rollins, a fantastic tenor saxophonist. So if anyone is looking for musicians that were amazing, he is not alive, unfortunately, but great tenor sax player. So, so. Jess, tell us about yourself. I will. My name is Jess. I come from England, from London. Mm -hmm. I am brunette, as you can yeah. see. Me too. I'm a brunette. I'm well, like the same brunette. Yeah, but I have gray. Do you have gray? No. Not yet. <laughs> Some people don't like their gray hair, and I go, that's right. Uh, it's like a sign of my experience. So yeah. <laughs> I sport it. <laughs> no, when my, my dad's mother was in her early 20s, like me, she used to have dark hair just like me. But I think around 25, her hair went completely white. Wow. So that, might, that might happen to me. Who knows? Very interesting. I think white hair and gray hair are delightful. So They're cool. Beautiful. I mean, my mom dyes her hair. She colors the white. Mm -hmm. I go, come, bring it on. Leave it. Let yeah. it go. Yeah. yeah, what is it? There's a way in London slang. Um, easy. Bear easy. Bear easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And what is your favorite hair color? My favorite hair color is um, a very deep, natural ginger. Ooh, 
Ooh, did you say ginger? I said ginger. <laughs> I However, said yeah. It's very interesting because the hair color ginger does not look like the root vegetable ginger. No. That's very interesting, huh? It is. I would say ginger hair as a color is more red, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Ginger hair. How would you describe ginger hair? Like the like the autumn leaves. Which is da da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba. Do you know the song Autumn Leaves? No. It is a jazz classic. Autumn Leaves. When you study jazz music, one of the first songs you study is Autumn Leaves. Yeah, it's a beautiful cool. song. But so ginger hair. In this picture, can we see anyone with ginger hair? Yes, we can. Oh, so perhaps she has ginger hair. Yeah, she's got ginger hair. Yeah. What color hair does he have? <laughs> He's got purple hair. Yeah, he has purple hair. Over here, he has white hair. Um, what else? He has black hair. He has blue oh, yeah. hair. Very nice. Bart's friend has blue hair. Excellent. Okay, so your favorite hair color is ginger hair. And do you like jazz? I do like jazz. And you're educating me so much more on jazz, which is so exciting. I, I already know that I need to look up this yeah, song. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice song. Um, so if you are just joining us, we would like to hear from you. Tell us. Are you a brunette? What is a brunette? Both Jess and I are brunettes. So a brunette is a person that has brown hair. So are you a brunette? Okay, person that has brown hair. Let's see, do we have any brunettes here? He is a brunette. He is a brunette. He is a brunette. Is a brunette. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what color hair do they have? Yeah, purple. They have purple hair. How cool. Krusty the Clown has purple hair. Um, I would say blue. Oh, sorry. I meant to say blue. <laughs> I said purple, but I meant to say blue. Um, and the policeman also has blue hair. Ah. Okay. So tell us, are you a brunette? What is your favorite hair color? And do you like jazz? Jess, could you ask me kindly these questions? Yes, Monique. Who are you and where are you from? And oh, yes. are you a brunette? So I am Monique. I am from Hollywood. Da, 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 da. Also, for your vocabulary knowledge, these are called jazz hands. Jazz hands. Is it the same in dance? Yeah. Jazz hands, when you shake your hands in the air. So if you are watching at home, we want you also to try to do jazz hands. Take your hands in the air and show, shake them around. This is also how you do a round of applause if you are deaf. Oh, is it? Like this? Yeah. Very interesting. And... In um, support groups, to do a round of applause, you take your hands like this. Yeah, very nice. But if they're out like this, then it's jazz hands. You don't want to mix them up. <laughs> no. So I am from Hollywood. Da, 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 right? So hooray for Hollywood. Um, and you asked me, am I a brunette? Why, yes, I am a brunette. Just like myself. Just like you. However, I have had many different hair colors in my life. I had green hair, blue hair, purple hair, white hair, blonde hair. And once I had half blonde and half brown. So oh. very exciting. Yes. Um, and you asked me. Oh, you didn't. Why don't you ask me? I want me? to know. What is your favorite hair color? Let's I already know. Oops, let's go back to this. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let everyone come in. We get some more hair colors there. Good. My favorite hair color is... I don't know. 
You told me it was green. Oh, it is green. Yeah, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. My favorite hair color is green. There is no green hair color here. No oh. one in The Simpson has green hair. And the third and final question. Do you like jazz? Indeed. I love jazz. I love jazz very, very much. I think jazz is fascinating, interesting, revolutionary, and it is a beautiful type of music. So yes, I love jazz. I listen, I sometimes listen to jazz, not always, but sometimes. So let's dive into our focus of the day. So if you are just joining us, we want you to tell us what your favorite hair color is. And if you like jazz in the meanwhile, what is our focus activity about? Describing personality. Yes. Ta -da. So do you know Miles Davis? Miles Davis. Yes. Describe yes, Miles Davis's personality. Can you describe Miles Davis's personality? He's he's mellow. Good. Okay. Yeah. He's mellow. Nice. Good. Okay. So going I mean, into yeah. Speaking of Miles Davis, I remember because I I tried to choreograph a solo to a jazz blues thing um, a long time ago, and when I was doing my research, I found on Spotify some live studio recordings of Miles Davis, and you hear him talking like after each time or before every time, but like casually in the studio. It's very nice. Really? Um, and he was mellow. He was, he was kind of mellow. I think he was mellow. Yeah, maybe. A little mellow-ish. <laughs> so Jess said to choreograph a solo. So if anyone doesn't know, to choreograph means to... Uh, how would you describe to choreograph? To create, to put together movements. Um, so we could choreograph our hands like this, right, left, right, left, right. That's choreography to choreograph, also a verb. So to choreograph a solo means to choreograph a dance solo, meaning one person dancing, right? That's fabulous, interesting. Yeah, Miles Davis's music, interesting for a dance solo, yeah. So what are our objectives of today? We have in this focus activity, present simple, describing personality and vocabulary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, so present simple, which we use for recurring events. Let's give examples of the present simple. I drink fennel tea. I drink water. I have a uh, unicorn pen. Oops, I have a pencil. Ooh, okay. Um, I have a little birdie. I have, I have a bottle of wine. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I could also use present simple to say, this is a purple feather. Beautiful. Melody. Ooh. This is a scrunchie. Ooh, good vocabulary. A scrunchie. I could put Ooh. my hair up in my scrunchie. An elastic used to, how would you describe a scrunchie? An elastic to keep your hair up. Yeah, to keep your hair up. And Yes. What hairdo do you have today? What are those? I have braids. These are braids or plaits. Which would you would you say braids or plaits? I would say braids or pigtails. Ah, oh, pigtails. How do you spell plaits? Uh, good question. Huh? Good question. We'll put it in quotation marks. So everyone, if you look at Jess's hairstyle, her hair, you can see Jess has braids today or pigtails or plaits. And I learned a new vocabulary. Thank you very much. Plaits. I put plaits to you in the comment. Okay, great. Thank you. 
So moving into our focus here, dun, dun, we want descriptions of family. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. What is family though? What is family? Family? Well, there's, for me, family are who you choose. You choose your family. But traditionally, family are the people that you share the same blood with. Yes. Yeah. So, Mother. you are people that you share the same blood with. So, we'll put DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. So, family are the people that you share the same blood with, right? Yes, it's true. Maybe family, your friends, like my friend Martina, is like a sister. Mm -hmm. She is like family to me. Is Alessio like family to you? Yes, he is. He is like Very my nice. bro. I call him bro and he calls really? me. Mm -hmm. I call my roommate bro. Yeah. Mm. Very sweet. Um, so let's see. Shall we read the four lovely questions? Let's do it. We have how many people are in your family? Do you live with your family? Do you often spend time with your family? And what do you usually do with them? It's interesting. Today, I will be seeing my family twice because it's a holiday today. Did you know that? Is today a holiday? It's a big holiday that starts this evening and goes for one week. In this holiday, um, Yeast is not eaten, no bread, so no unleavened bread. It, does this sound familiar at all? Yes. We invite, I invite Jess and I invite anyone watching. What is the holiday starting what? today? What is the holiday? Yeah. No yeast. It's ringing no. a bell in my brain. So what is eaten for this holiday? It is a very big holiday. This is called matzah in English. Matzah. Can you see what it looks like? I will show you a piece of it. This is matzah, also known as unleavened bread. Oh. It is made with flour and water. Matzah. So for one week, because of this holiday, this is a holiday celebrating freedom from slavery. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Would you like to guess what holiday is starting today? I, I would like, I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Tonight is the first night of Passover, right? So this is, it's also known as the Jewish Easter in Italian, for example, but it's its own holiday. And it starts this evening. So at 11 p.m., I will be having a Zoom dinner and celebration with my brother in New York and my mom in Los Angeles. That's so nice. That's so nice. Passover. I've never known it to be called Passover before. What do you know it to be called? Just Easter. Right. No, Passover or Pesach, it's also called. So yeah. quite Very. nice. Yeah. So that's my family. And it's very interesting because my brother's girlfriend will also be there with her family on the same Zoom phone call. Or not oh. Zoom phone call, on the same Zoom meeting, right? So it's very cool. It's very interesting. Um, I've been talking more to my family since we have been in this situation. Mm -hmm. Because in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and in New York, they are also at home. Is your family at home as well? Yeah, so my mom lives in London mm -hmm. and my dad lives in the Middle East. Um, and- Middle East, where does he live? He lives in Abu, I call it Abu Dhabi, because you know, <laughs> but- Abu Abu Dhabi. Dhabi. that's so nice. Um, he, we um, are speaking a lot more often because of quarantine. And yeah. I actually, I've never had a family group chat mm -hmm. on WhatsApp before. And I thought, it's quarantine. I'm going to bring my family together. 
Wow. So I made a group chat. It was very risky. It was yes. very I, I would not do that with my mom and dad, no. And before in my life, I never would have dreamed, dreamt of doing anything like this. Right. However, it's been very successful. It's been very funny. So. Really? So your parents are divorced, but they're in the same WhatsApp group. They are now. I mean, they, they were never married, so they're oh, separated. Oh, they're separated. But, that is quite revolutionary, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm 23. They've been separated for 21 years. Wow. So it's been a long time. But they're on good terms? Yeah. More or less. That's so <laughs> interesting. Abu Dhabi. Have you been to Abu Dhabi? Yes. I went uh, one time when I was about 16. Um, yeah. It was in, it was in, it would have been a bit of, again words it is was an interesting father, experience is your father abu dhabian <laughs> no he's not okay how interesting though wow fabulous nice. so if you are just joining us now we want you to tell us about your family too so tell us how many people are in your family do you live with your family do you often spend time with your family and what do you usually do with them and let's see some vocabulary just can you read this lovely yeah. vocabulary mother father sister brother aunt uncle grandmother grandfather son and daughter yes do you do you shorten any of these and if so how i do i call my mom my mother either mom or mama <laughs> that's so sweet and my father, I call him dad or pa. Ooh, that's nice. Pa. Pa. I call him pa. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any sisters. I don't have any brothers. Mm -hmm. I have an aunt. And I have an uncle who, as a child, I always called my auntie. So he's like my Ooh. uncle, which I call auntie. So he's auntie Mark. Mm -hmm. He's an uncle. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we have grandmother, granny. Uh huh. Oh, right. Grandma, which is the Italian. I call her. Um, uh, there's many ways to call a grandmother because people call them nanny as well or nan. You say I, nanny for your grandmother. Interesting. In the US, nanny would be more Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. But the Logan pool would say nan. Um, mm -hmm. Granny. Nan bread. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe nan makes nan. <laughs> My grandfather is grandpa. Uh -huh. But he had his 87th birthday on the 1st of April. So cute. Happy birthday. So your grandfather is an Aries. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. How cool. Yeah. And for me, let's see. I'll read through them because we do have some different pronunciations on these. So mother, father, sister, brother, which I would say mom or mommy. <laughs> uh, mom. Father, maybe dad. Sister. I don't have a sister, but I might say sis. And brother, I really like saying bro. Bro is very common in California, almost too common, right? Your friend is your bro. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in African-American culture, it's very common to call your friends brothers. And I made a funny mistake. I had a colleague at this bookshop I worked at in Venice Beach named Solomon, very cool guy. And he said, Oh, my brother's coming over later. And I went, Solomon, I didn't know you had a brother. He's like, yo, it's my friend. I was like, oh. It was a little embarrassing, but so brother or bro. Then here it's very different for the pronunciation. I say aunt mm. or auntie. So I have an I have an aunt who actually lives in Netanya, which is just north of Tel Aviv in Israel. And her name is Eleonora. So she's my aunt, right? Aunt or auntie, which how do you say it? I say aunt. Yeah, both are uh, correct. Also, aunt, how you say it, 
I mean, I would say grass, you would say grass. Yes, exactly. But this, this pronunciation is also common in England, um, especially in the north of England. They really? would say ant, yeah. No but way. I, I just have a very thick London accent. Right. So would our colleague from the north, from Leicester, say ant or aunt? I'm not sure. Hmm. Because Leicester's, Leicester's Midlands. So perhaps Manchester would say Ant. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Or Carlisle. Okay, lovely. Then uncle, uncle, grandmother. So here I would say grandma. Or we would call our grandmother Bubula because that's a Yiddish term, Bubula. Isn't that cool? I Bubula. love Bubula. Bubula. And then grandfather or grandpa, and then son and daughter. So, Jess, how many people are in your family? Very difficult question. If you're just joining us, let us know about your family too. Um, oh, my mom, because I'm my mom's daughter. Yes. Kind of like Bubula. She calls me Bubba. How cool. Bubba. That's Bubba. nice. <laughs> Very different. Than Jess. Yeah, very different. Um, how many people? So I have my mom and my dad, but my whole family live in different countries. Mm. So, mine too. Mine too. Mm. Yeah, cool. So I would say a lot of people. <laughs> and do you live with your family? Oh. No, nor do I. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I have now not lived at home for five years. Yeah. Crazy. Why don't you ask me number three? Number three. Do you often spend time with your family? Lately, I spend time with them in terms of being on the phone or mm -hmm. being on Zoom. So I call my mom much more frequently now. My mom is very cool. You would really get along with her. She is so much fun and so cool. And so I speak to her often. Um, I When I lived in New York, I lived three subway stops away from my brother. My brother lives in Brooklyn. So we used to spend time together. Every Sunday we would meet and do a guitar lesson, although he didn't really practice, but it was an excuse to spend time together. So it was a lot of fun. How and was life living in New York? It was frenetic <laughs> and amazing. Yeah. yeah, very, very stimulating as an artist, very um enjoyable very expensive very fascinating right um definitely something in something nice to do in one's life i would say yeah a good I experience yeah. i lived in brooklyn for two years so it was cool have you ever lived in brooklyn i've never lived in brooklyn mm. it's it's cool i would so, love what? I would like to. Mm. I think I have a feeling that I would really like the scene. Yeah. And Jess, what do you usually do with your family? Remember, usually present simple, so it's something that's recurring. So if it's not recurring, then we can't use usually. But what do you usually do with your family? I'll invent. Oh, for example, with my mom, we usually drink cups of tea. Fabulous. And I love the English tradition of drinking cups of tea. That's what I do all day, every day at home lately, is just drink herbal tea or herbal tea like crazy. Do you know, it's, I was speaking with Emily, another teacher in a webinar about this last night. Um, uh, we had a question, what's the little things in life that make you happy? Mm -hmm. And so I said, if I'm ever sad and anyone offers me a cup of tea, it's like, oh, suddenly all my problems have disappeared. It's so true. So yeah. For me, tea and honey also has that effect. And honey. It makes me happy. Yeah, it makes me feel, I don't know, it keeps me company, right? It's like yeah. comfort. Comfort. I was not very well some time ago. And my friend that I spoke about, Alessio, he bought me 
around tea and honey. No, that's so sweet. That's that's honey is comforting, right? Would you agree honey is comforting? Honey is very comforting. Yeah, lovely. All right, let us move forward here. Um, ooh, can oh. you describe yourself? Can you describe yourself, Monique? Fabulous. What other adjective would I need? I'm fabulous <laughs> and you're fabulous. Okay, let's take a look at some vocabulary here. Um, we have height, short, medium height, tall, oh, good mistake. Oh, good. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> tall, short, medium height, body yeah. shape, fat, but we're going to use chubby because fat is yeah. not so nice. Slim and thin. We have hairstyle, long, short, curly, straight, hair color, brown, blonde, black, red, gray, and eyes brown, green, and blue. Fantastic. So yes, as Jess said, fat is not so nice. Let's say chubby or heavy, heavy set. Or oh, heavy. Or heavy set, right? Fat can be a little critical. So we can say chubby mm. or heavy set, right? So good. Let's see here. So can you describe yourself using these vocabulary words? Okay. I am tall. I think I'm tall. Maybe I think I'm taller than I am. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's good to have have, you know, we project ourselves. So if you're taller yeah. than you are, that makes you leaner. Yes. I am, I wouldn't say I'm slim or thin. I think I'm athletic. Mm, good vocabulary. I am muscular. Great vocabulary words. I'm athletic and muscular. I'm so athletic, I'm wearing double Adidas. I know, that's so cool. Green oh, Adidas. Yeah. Double, wow. Adidas. <laughs> Fantastic, that is very athletic. And I am not wearing athletic clothes. I have jeans on today. Jeans. Wow. And I have my adorable cat socks on. Can you see them? I can't. Oh, they've got glasses. Yeah, they have glasses. I love these socks. My ex-boyfriend gifted them to me. Ah. And I still wear them. And okay, I'm athletic and muscular. That's fantastic. So meaning you like being active and having muscles, right? And I fortunately have my muscles that are improving slowly but surely in my great objective and goal of the year, which is to be able to do a push-up. I'm still far from it, but little by little. So lovely. And let's see, shall I describe myself perhaps? Now. So I am tall. Um, I am uh, maybe chubby ish. I don't no, know. No, I disagree. This is our. Um, this is our perspective, our perception of ourselves. So I am, I would say I am average. I would call that a healthy, a healthy, healthy. you yeah. know? I am a healthy weight for my, my age and my height. Yeah, I am healthy, yeah. Um, I have short, curly hair, mm -hmm. and my hair is brown. So I am a brunette, just like Jess, and I have green eyes. Dun, dun, dun. So can you describe your best friend, Alessio? I can. Lovely. He is tall. He is a big build. Ooh, also very nice vocabulary. So would you say he is or he has? He is. He is a big build, okay. Um, he has short brown hair mm -hmm. and brown eyes. Has short brown hair, okay, lovely. 
So if anyone is watching this now or later in another moment, just note that Alessio has short, comma, brown hair. Brown we can hair. put the adjectives together, right? He has short brown hair. Okay. Can you describe your best friend? Of course. So my best friend in Italy is Martina. Um, she is tall. She, okay, she is not thin and she is not fat. She is also concerned about her weight. She uh, does not want to be chubby, but she loves to cook, to eat, and to drink a lot of alcohol. So the alcohol goes right to her belly. <laughs> So she is, she is thin. However, she drinks. So then she is less thin. But okay. So she is, she is healthy though, generally. Um, she has um, short brown hair. And as of this morning, when she sent me her photo, she has a little mohawk. Oh, yeah. cool. And she has light brown eyes. Yeah. Cool. All right. Lovely. Let's move forward. Um, we see our jolly friends here. Shall we read? Go for it. Read about Penelope. I am medium height and slim. I have long, straight brown hair and blue eyes. Yes. Lovely. And I will read about Jesse. Uh, my brother isn't very tall. He's slim. He has short, curly brown hair and brown eyes. And my brother is tall, a little taller than me. His name is Alexander. He uses the name Alex. I like to call him Ilexunder, or for short, Eel. E E L. Um, he's slim ish, he's healthy. He has short, wavy brown hair and green eyes like me. We both have green eyes. So, yeah. all righty. So, now the question, what are you like? So, remember, like is not the verb to like. The verb here is to be. So, what are you like? What are you like? What am I like? That's a good question. This is a very good question. What? I am one meter, 90 centimeters. Are you? No. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm, I know in, I think I'm like, I don't know, five foot seven. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm like five foot eight. So, yeah. So, let's see here. So, this person is saying, I am... One meter, 90 centimeters. So let's take this here. In the, so in Italy, one meter, 90 centimeters, right? I looked it up. In the United States, that would be six foot two inches. I will just write it. One meter. Six foot two. That is a tall person. That is a very tall person. Very. In the UK, what would you say in the UK? The same. Oh, you would say one meter, 90 centimeters? No, no, six foot. Oh, you say the same. I did not I know. Repeat. So, like, I'm five foot. Okay. I was impressed that you knew your height and feet. <laughs> okay, six foot two. So good. You know, I did not know that, that in the UK you also use feet and inches. So, yeah, we do. So even though the plural of foot is feet, when we talk about height, we say six foot two inches. So are you six foot two? I am not six foot two. Nor am I. I am 5'8". Yeah. So when we say it, we say 6'2", 5'8", which could be confusing for someone who is more accustomed to 1 meter 90 centimeters or 190 centimeters, right? Mm -hmm. Lovely. So is this person tall, medium height, or short? This person is tall. 
Yes. Do you know anyone who is 6'2"? Yes, I know many tall people. Really? Actually, my best friend in England, Lois, she's a very tall lady. Wow, nice. Yeah, my <laughs> mom's boyfriend also is very, very tall. I think my mom's boyfriend is six foot three. Wow. Yeah, he's very tall. Mm -hmm. um, lovely. Let's see the next example. My grandmother is 95 years old. She is? Fabulous. <laughs> she is amazing, right? 95 years old. My grandmother, Grandma Debbie Bubula, the one born in Algate East, in the east end of London, she lived to 100 years old. <gasps> oh, one. She was amazing. Amazing. So cool. She was not fat, but she was round. <laughs> <laughs> so she was about the same height as she was with. <laughs> she was so funny, though. And she said she lived to be to this old age because she ate an orange a day. Really? So tip for everyone, everyone here to you and to our viewing audience, eat an orange a day. It's good for your health, gives you vitamin C and it reminds you of my grandma, Debbie, right? Lovely. So, yes, this is 95 years old. Let us reveal. Have an orange. Have a little one. That's, is that a kumquat? Just like a little oh, satsuma. Oh, satsuma? Satsuma? I don't know the word sasuma. How interesting. Yeah, so it's a little Mandarin orange. You call it sasuma? Satsumas, yeah, in England. Is that English? Mm hmm How do you spell it? <laughs> For one moment. Satsuma orange. Oh, I see it. Satsuma. Satsuma orange. I found it. Nice. You know, I'd never heard that term before. Yeah, satsuma. Very interesting. Wow, lovely. So with our grandmother that's 95 years old, is she old, middle-aged, or young? She is old. Yes, this is a very nice phrase to use. She is young at heart. So she is old physically. Maybe her bones are old, her or she's maybe tired, maybe she's old or older, but she is young at heart, right? I love that phrase, young at heart. It's a good one. Next one. My brother is 90 kilos. He is? So how many are 90 kilos? So this would be in, in Italy, for example, 90 kilos. How much would that be in the UK? Well, I looked it up, and that would be 14 stones. Oh. Are you 14 stones? No. How many stones are you? I, I can fluctuate between eight and a half to 10 stones. Really? That's a wide fluctuation, no? Interesting. I have no idea how many stones I am, but I can say that 90 kilos would be in Italy, 14 stones in the UK, and 198 LBS, which is short for pounds, right? So pounds, 198 pounds. So this person, my brother, is 90 kilos. Is he fat, chubby, or slim? He's chubby. I would say so too. He's okay. chubby. We don't want to say he's fat. Fat can be very critical of a word, right? Mind you, we do not want body shaming. Don't be ashamed of your bodies, right? We don't want to be ashamed. However, there is body shaming in our society, unfortunately. So why don't we use words that are nicer? So he is 
large. He is chubby. But also, he could just be very muscular because muscles weigh a lot more than fat. Yes, I did not know that. Let's put that for everyone. Muscles weigh a lot more than fat. Yeah. Very interesting. Muscles weigh a lot more than fat. Yesterday I learned, no, on Monday I learned where the trapezio muscle is. Mm. Yeah, I did not know. I did not know at all. So good. All right. Next one. My dog is a, now this is a word that comes from Spanish. So it might be strange looking, but my dog is a chihuahua. It is. So chihuahuas are those very small, very loud dogs. So my dog is a chihuahua. Is it small, medium, or large? It's small. Oh, yes. A very small, loud doggy. Have you ever had a dog before? I think I had a dog for about one day because <laughs> my brother and I wanted a dog. Our parents got us a dog and we did not feed or take care of the dog. So they took the dog away and that was okay. Now, I don't love dogs. I'll be honest. I prefer cats. So I grew mm -hmm. up with cats. Yeah. We mm -hmm. had a cat named Sunshine. Black mm -hmm. and red cats. Amazing, yeah. Have you ever had a dog? Never a dog, only ever one cat. Mm, what was your cat's name? Kit Kat. Kit Kat, that's an amazing name. Yeah. Kit Kat. A Kit Kat's the chocolate bar. Yeah, a choco, chocolate bar, yeah. That's a fantastic name for a cat, Kit Kat. <laughs> cool. So yeah, so a chihuahua is a small, a very small, loud doggy. Doggy is an endearing term for dog. A dog, a doggy, right? Good, okay, can we look at comparatives? We have a little bit of time left. Why don't we just read through Let's these read. right here. So let's alternate. So you, number one, I'll do number two. All right, I am 26 years old. My sister is 21 years old, she is younger than me yes. my brother is one meter 90 centimeters i am one meter 60 centimeters he is taller than me my brother is 90 kilos i am 80 kilos he is fatter than me yes and my dog is a chihuahua which is also a very large region in the north of mexico it's called Chihuahua. I've been to that area. Uh, mm -hmm. My aunt's dog is a bulldog. Her dog is larger than mine. Okay, nice. So let's look at how to make these into comparatives. So for making comparatives, we add ER to make comparatives. Add ER. This is for regular adjectives, right? So Jess, can you make the comparatives there. I can. We have short, which becomes shorter. We have young, younger, mm -hmm. small, smaller. And then with the last one, big, because it's a consonant vowel consonant, we're going to double the consonant and add ER. So it becomes bigger. Good point. Also, in terms of pronunciation, Note that I would say in the US, we pronounce the R much more. So we say shorter, younger, smaller, bigger. Whereas how do you pronounce them? Shorter, younger, smaller, bigger. Yeah, so shorter, right? Shorter, 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 shorter. And it's interesting, I think then in the UK, you pronounce the T more because the R is pronounced less. So it becomes shorter. Whereas in the US, we pronounce the T less and the R more, shorter. Granted, mm -hmm. we do understand each other. From what I understand from our colleague in Devon, in the southwest of, in the south, no, southwest of your fine country, they also use quite a bit of R sounds. Uh huh. That's very interesting, yeah. So they mm -hmm. might also say shorter, younger. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we are up for time, everyone. So thank you.
for being with us. We remind you to go visit the MyAss SOS Facebook group uh, where you can continue at all times of day to write, to ask questions, to interact and whatnot. Thank you very, very much. Have a happy Passover, everyone. Jess, I wish you a happy start to this event. And we shall see each other soon. In 10 minutes, you will get another fine webinar from my English school. So thank you very much and have a nice lunch. Have Bye. a lovely day. Cheers. Bye. Bye.